How's it going? I'm doing great. We have a um, burrito here. It's nice and crispy. You hear that crispy crunchiness? That's what happens when you bake them. It's a curry ramen burrito. I had a vision and I had to create it. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells and sounds in my mind. Okay, so we have some coffee here. Let's get our coffee ready to go. Mm, coffee. It's been a while since I've had coffee. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. That's good though, because I've got like four tarot readings to get caught up on. Oh, I just realized I need some sugar too. Oh, just a second. Ah, yes. Date syrup. Didn't I get more date syrup too? I feel like I got another date syrup. I might need to order more date syrup. But I might have a date syrup somewhere. If not, I'm going to have to order some more because. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it, but I might have one somewhere. I need to figure that out within the next few days, though, because I will need to order another one soon if I don't have any more. But I like date syrup in my coffee. It's very yummy. Very, very yummy. Okay. And then we're going to try out this almond milk in our coffee. I don't usually put almond milk in coffee, so we'll see how it, how it goes. Looks okay. I think cashew cream would work better. Or oat cream. See, I got all spoiled on that fancy coffee creamer. Now I have to go back to my regular coffee cream, coffee, coffee stuff. I need to figure out like a good recipe for <sighs> vegan coffee creeper. Okay. All right. So I'm very excited because we have clearing out my purses part two. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> the chick actually talked to me. She seems pretty nice. So and we I'll try to be a little more gentle this time. Um decluttering my purses and my bags and <laughs> I'm still so scared so hopefully everybody this enjoyed is, the uh, first part of the series -I, I feel like we're making some headway and then I don't feel like we're making headway because then I find more bags to go crispy, through so crunchy, even crispy, this pile got bigger because Ooh, I was hot. trying to find it all the purses to stack like in <laughs> My I'm so room. eager to eat this. We're just going to stick with this room right now because I'm sure there are more bags elsewhere. Again, I have a problem. So let's get down to round two. Can't wait. <laughs> feeling refreshed because it's the next day still a little nervous like I said but let's just get to it so bam I don't even know where to start so we're just gonna start pulling bags so I found this at our store and I think I'm gonna sell it because it is just a Paris tote that's cute it just has the scene of Paris. It's a little crumpled because it was being stored. And it's actually from Disney. Mm. It's good. I've a little gotten bit more polished. Yet, so though. I feel like mm. it would be good for going out to a nice dinner. Um, I definitely wouldn't take it to Disney because this just kind of gets annoying when you're carrying it on like one shoulder all day in the parks. I like your shirt. But it's cute. I'm gonna hold on to this one just to see like how I feel about it later. Uh, the bottom is vinyl, which matches the straps. It's just versatile and classy. 
I'm not keeping it just because it has mm. the Disney tag on it, or am I? So we're gonna put that in the pile for now, which is the chair. And I found this one this at really a thumb? store also. Or no, really I believe this was my dad's, so I'm going to keep it. Um, he worked at Animal Kingdom before he retired and then Animal Kingdom Lodge. So it has this little badge. I'm not sure if this was a I'm gonna go get cast that member mayor, exclusive but... or if it was available in the parks because it doesn't say Disney on the tag. It says Doma Outback. Or there's another tag where it does say Walt Disney World. So I have to hold on to this forever because of my dad. Aww. I have an entire collection of Animal Kingdom stuff that I want to bring together and just have like a display thing in my house. But it's okay. also a really good bag. Mail on it, it has and my all these zippers also and ways cool to organize it. Um, somebody wrote in marker AG1. Whatever that means, I'll have to ask my dad. And then the top flap has a zipper right here. And it's just this really good material. Is it fake? Is it real leather? I know it looks kind yeah, of Yeah, it's real leather. It's so good. it's like really soft leather, so it's not too stiff. Mm. Definitely going to hold on to that. Mm. Sorry, Disney, yeah, as you good. know, just has a special place in my heart because of my parents and just the history of my family working there. And I did too, mm. if you're new here. I worked there for a minute before I got like let go. This one I'm going to sell. It's a really cute bag, but it just has like no special meaning for me. But yeah, it's got it's this cute. cute little fox on it. Um, it's like cotton, so it doesn't have much structure, but it has these cute owls on it too. It's just a cute mm. little foresty, like fairy core grunge thing. Um, I've had my time with this purse. It's just a Velcro it's closure delicious. and it's just a crossbody. Like I said, I've had my time with it. It's time for it to pass on to somebody else on my Poshmark. So first one we got rid of. This one is also cute, but I've had my time with it. Uh, I was going for that, like, I went through this, like, beach hippie phase a couple years ago, and this, like, straw front with multiple zippers just kind of screamed at me, and I love the sea green color. I'm going to pass it on to somebody else who will appreciate it. It's definitely giving me Roxy, old pack sun vibes, and it's got an adjustable strap. I just never reach for it. See, this is why All I'm right. going through them. The um, person she's going through now seems a lot more mature. Next, have Sailor Moon, like, Messenger style. Sailor Moon one's cute. Crossbody. I put a Grateful Dead pin, or, yeah, Grateful Dead. And thing one and thing two. And then, of course, this classic Sailor Moon transfer. I think that I got this off like Live Journal sale, and then I added rainbow spikes to the top of it. Live Journal. We're going to keep wow. it for memory's sake. Um, just like what I want to do, like what I want to do with the Disney stuff, I also want to do like a little Sailor Moon. Like, it's a spicy altar in it's my like house somewhere savory. because it's Sailor Moon super delicious. is such a big part the of my ramen and the beans. memories and my inspiration. I'm going to sell this. It's giving off that early, early 90s, 2000 vibe thing. It's just a clear tote and it has a removable bag for like your personal items if you don't want everybody to see what's in your clear tote. I'm going to sell this as a set because it obviously goes together and this is nicely lined and it's in good condition. Um, yeah, definitely that night. 1990s clueless y2k revival whatever so i feel like this would be this will go to a good home i think once it's listed on poshmark but yeah it's in good oh, it's cute. You know, condition i see some scuff marks on here that'll probably wipe off but it's not yellow or anything like the clear vinyl it's not discolored or warped but yeah just another thrift find i never use so we're doing like rapid fire I'm going to donate this just because I don't feel like fixing the the hanging strap on it. I just saved it and I'm sure right? laziness. But it's this cute little springtime backpack. I just have so many of these like generic bags floating around. I'm just gonna start flirting with them as cute as they are. And because it's a kid's bag, there's like no interior pockets mm. and there's really no structure because I love this crunchy tortilla. It's not meant for actually like putting heavy stuff like keys and wallets and phones in. It's cute, but we're going to let it go. And I'm always going to keep Chewy. I got him for a Ramen steal burrito. on eBay. Oh, I really ball. wanted him in the parks, and he was like $78, even with like the pass the discount. And I found the him on ball. eBay somehow. And the beans? Some miracle. Mm -hmm. Some fate. 
for $30 and he's just so cute. And the last time I wore him into Hollywood studios, it was pouring down rain and people like started joking that I was neglecting Chewy because he was just getting soaking wet, standing in line for smugglers run. So yeah, he's, he's gone to the parks with me. He does get use. It's a very good find for me. Look at his old face. You can't say no to that. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, obviously. And they're kind of tangled. Can't remember this guy's name. Sean the Sheep backpack. Yeah, I think I need Because I used to think it was cute. Mm, using but, it. Oh, that was a bit of dust or fur. Using it as dip. And he's really soft. I just feel like somebody else can enjoy him. He is really cute. He's in good condition. He passes the phone test. I just don't reach for him enough. He's got enough room in him, like I said. Um, I'll probably have to wash him and eventually list him on my Poshmark, as cute as he is. Like I said, I just not feeling the emotional attachment to this one. And I wanted to do like a frozen Disney bound with this bag, even though it's Hello Kitty, but it's got like a snowflake, if you can, if the ring light will catch it. It's got a snowflake emblem on it and it has a back zipper, but the zipper pull is gone, which I can fix easily. But then it opens up like this. So it has the snaps on the inside, so it doesn't really hold much. And I know people are still into Sanrio and Hello Kitty. So I can find a different bag for my Frozen Disney bound, especially since it's just Hello Kitty. It's not like an actual Frozen bag. I just liked the snowflake motif and the vinyl straps. Like I thrifted this, so I'm actually surprised the vinyl has actually survived this many years of just being stored. It's cute, but again, not reaching for it. We're killing it this time because I've only kept three bags out of this round. And I'm going to keep this one because I love Betsy Johnson and I thrifted this and two, the zipper is broken so it loses value, but I always like seeing these bags like on my shelf. Maybe I, I love freeze the other two so much. And this was just a lucky thrift find. It has this print on the inside. You can see Betsy Johnson right there and on the back. So if I ever want like a fancy purse, I reach for my Betsy's for like date night or an interview or whatever. I just, these are the ones I go for. It just has this giant bow on the front. And I added some keychains, Pepe Le Pew. Oh, I love Pepe Le Pew. Blue from Blue's Clues and Cheer Bear just to like make it a little bit more colorful so it's not just black and white so we're gonna keep that one and because the zipper was busted mm. i got it for like ten dollars at the thrift store i'm so happy we are going to keep this one because they don't make these anymore and this is a very spicy really, very really i think i did that oh, yeah. in my last video this is an old line of disney bags so it's called disney boutique and i thrifted this and it was so cheap because this drawstring part of the bag was missing so I just took old boot laces and put beads on them but you can see it's a hidden Mickey and it's supposed to be Pirates oh, cool. of the Caribbean I think or it was just like the colors so when I wear my pirate stuff to the parks I try to bring this bag because that is just so cute and it was a lucky thrift find so we're keeping that and I used this last week, but it's not really doing anything for me anymore. I had my last two raw with this little mini bag because it has this cute little face, which I do believe Betsy's other, like her lower brand, they released a line like this, which like I have the owl and some other character. So I feel like this is kind of a knockoff of it. And it comes with this cute little keychain thing with it. Uh, the only thing is that the whisker chains are broken right here, but I could probably fix that. So I'm going to part with this, as cute as it is. Mm. And like I said, I used it a couple weeks ago, so it's had its moment. I'm going to put Betsy oh, in there so she doesn't fall. Uh, when it comes to my Eda bags, I'm going to do a separate video because since I made all these, it's Let's like a video a little on bit its more. own. So I'm not going to show any of those. And obviously I'm going to keep them because I put like the Eda bags really together. Creamy. And it just... There's a lot of energy and focus and inspiration that goes into those. So those are all keep, but one day I'll show my Eda bag, bag collection. I have words. Oh my goodness. Speaking of Betsy, this is another one. Um, 
the brand I was trying to think of is Love Betsy oh, better. with the animal faces. So I also found this one at Bell's Outlet. It just says Feeling Dandy, and it comes with this little clip-on scarf. It's so cute for spring. I may move into this purse this week for or for the month. Is it looking, it's so cute. It's got little dandelions on it. And then I took this custom-made keychain that my friend forever part. ago. It says Pixie. And I'll show you it in the straps are pink it's just adorable and it almost feels like a lounge fly style like where it has enough structure and holds a lot of stuff and then it has the betsy johnson floral in it and yeah, it but there's the betsy tag so yes i do reach for this a lot especially in the spring and summer because like it's just so yeah. cute and so bright and cheery i love it probably not going to get rid of any of my betsy's i mean i would have to be like really convinced to get rid of a lounge fly or a betsy johnson but for now courage we're going to get through this not all betsy and johnson is my style but some of it is speaking of which um this isn't a lounge fly but i'm keeping this there's mm -hmm. another one on my poshmark that is brand new still has a silica gel in it but even though this is danielle nicole i keep this with my lounge flies because it's That's just cute. the same like it's really good quality these cost about the same as a lounge fly unless you're getting a sale it's freaking cute. but it's fox and the hound and it has like the 3d like motif around the pocket it's just so cute the rest is just plain blue and then on the inside it has the danielle nicole logo and it's super roomy like i said it's very similar to the structure i think of, i've only watched fox um, and the hound once when i was the like launch like purses so yes this this stays with me maybe i should watch that this again. goes with me this dies with me especially fox and the hound anything don't fall and then I got this at um, Bell's Outlet, I believe. That's where a lot of these mini backpacks are from. I do believe this is limited to, what is it now? Um, is she wearing an Emily Autumn shirt? Is that anyway, where I recognize it's that called from? something else now, and I can never remember. It reminded me of Lisa Frank. It's holographic and clear, and it has these aliens on it. And then it has the little limited to flower as a zipper pull. Oh my god, there you go. But I love this iridescent vinyl. As long as it doesn't start separating, I'm going to use this. Uh, um, it's just giving off very, oops, there's stuff in it, 90s Lisa Frank vibes. And like I would have taken this to a rave back in the day. And the front pocket is Velcro. And if you're wondering what was in it, was bracelets and fishnet gloves. So apparently I had an outfit Ooh, plan for that. That was delicious. And this is another purse I probably won't let go. I use this a lot in the Disney parks. It is reversible sequins. It is just super cute. It's just silver. So it goes with a lot of Disney bounds. Um, it's not as structured as like a Betsy. It's just a generic backpack. I don't even think there's a tag in it. No, it just says do not wash in washing machine. But the only thing I didn't like about this was this pocket like collapses on itself because the fabric is so flimsy. So flimsy, flimsy. So I left the tissue paper in it, but I never use the front pockets anyway. So this is just a cute basic go-to backpack. It matches a lot of stuff because it has all the colors in it. So I swear I'm not losing my mind. We were doing so good about getting rid of these things. Um, again, this is probably that same brand of backpack, just no name, kind of found it at like a outlet or maybe TJ Maxx or like I said, Bell's Outlet, and the same thing happened Are those children's this backpacks? pocket, that's why I just leave the padding in it. I mean, just this iridescent like children's rainbow backpacks. glitter, like pastel, it's so pretty. Looks I already like did talk to her though, she, did, she doesn't really it, care so. if they look like children's stuff. It's kind of rubbing off, and the back is just pink with pink canvas stripes. I do uh, reach for this I think it's kind of weird. Well. Yeah, there's no brand in Somebody it. Somebody in their 30s wearing Amazon. like children's clothing. It's I mean, kind of like the sister. Maybe like an accessory one, and here yes, and there. I, I guess they're back this a lot for the parks and like little trips. And I put a little cinnamon roll on the keychain or the zipper pull. And then this guy, I think I got from Shop Miss A. This little change purse. So I don't use this change purse, but yes, I'm going to keep this one. I just need to find a better way to store these backpacks. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or not. This is a purse that I thrifted and it's the Norwegian flag. Oh, that's interesting. And my heritage is actually Scandinavian and German. So I really like this purse. It's got these like seed bead, I think details. Oh no, it's like a chain mail almost. 
Uh, the only thing is it's more like an evening bag. It doesn't fit much. It'll fit like just my phone and like my lip gloss or something. And it was originally came with a strap, but it's long gone. So I may keep this just for like a date night type thing and a display piece, but I'm gonna think about this one. But I can't explain like that metal link. Like it kind of looks like seed bead, but it's not, but it's in like perfect condition. So I'm gonna keep that one. We're not doing so good anymore, are we? <laughs> and that's another Eda bag. I'm gonna sell this. This one is an easy one for me. Play in my I'm closet. not as into uh, Hello Kitty as I used to be. Um, yeah, I do I this for these are. But it's just this basic little crossbody with Hello Kitty and a little Argyle moment. Cold. Very, again, 90s Y2K. Um, when I was talking about what I'm not sure what these are, is just these little flaps. Like, they're just loops, but it still has a Velcro closure. But anyway, gonna sell this. Um, people still love their Hello Kitty. I'm just kind of like not feeling it anymore. And Don't blame you. I think I'm gonna let Hedwig go. I did thrift him and I had to repair him, I think. But it's official Harry Potter. I, I just like never reach for him. I mean, it'd be different if I went to Universal a lot. I'd probably keep him, but I feel like somebody else can appreciate Hedwig more than I can. So it's time to say goodbye. This whole pile in front of me, and then I think we're going to move on to part three in this series. But whew, it's getting hot in here. And my entire room is a mess. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to speed this up and bags now. Because then you so put that stuff let's get away. To this. So. Yeah, I did for one, girl. During my paper days, and I'm going to hold on to it because look at that fur. And I did not line it. This is one of my first projects that I didn't know about how to make a line. And then I just used this random psychedelic fabric as a strap. It's just stitches on stitches. There's like no shape to it, but because I made it, I'm going to hold on to it because it just has that sentimental value and it folds. That's so it won't take up much room. But that was one of the first things I made when I was learning how to sew. So, so, so there. And another Hello Kitty item, I had to like stuff this so it wouldn't lose its shape and sword, but it still did. This is actually a Hello Kitty lunch fail or lunch bag. And I would use it as a purse. So we're going to let this go, and it can actually be both. Um, it is insulated. But there's one flaw, so any major collector might not like this, but they sewed over the Hello Kitty tag. So that's not supposed to be like disappearing into the piping, but it's just the way it was made. That's the only flaw. If you're not that picky and you're a Hello Kitty fan, like get my self to my Poshmark, the SCI stuff, tissue paper. Um, yeah, you can actually use it as a lunch bag, but I took it around with it first because why not? It still holds everything. Um, everything will probably be listed in a week or so. If you're already following my Poshmark, then you'll know you'll be able to get my listing stuff. So this is another National Wildlife Federation. I'm not going to list um, my stuff on Poshmark until it's like before. sunny. It's really cool. it's a thing. But most people and I kind of want to get a dress for it. forever to realize my Samsung Galaxy 22 has no headphone jack. It blew my mind, and that's how often I actually wear headphones and stuff because I didn't know that was a thing, but they took that away. But anyways, so yeah, so you can put your headphone jack or whatever, probably a charger now in there, and it just opens like this, and it has all these pockets in it. And that's pretty much all there is too. I thought there was a flap, but yeah, I'm gonna let go. It's also a windbreaker, like waterproof, I think is what they bragged about or boasted about when they were giving this away for donations. Um, I think it's waterproof, so anybody who hikes or travels a lot would appreciate that because I already kept my other National Wildlife Federation bag in the last video. And we're gonna let this go. I think I know somebody whose daughter would love this. It is another, I would say medium backpack, it's not like a backpack, but it's got Zoe and Elmo on it and the little butterfly guy, what was his name? And yeah. the sky is just this sword, it's in perfect condition. I think I took it to like one party and it's a glittery and Elmo's furry, so Zoe has glitter. Um, it's just a cute piece. Oh, the little butterfly guy has glitter too. I would not pick it up, or whatever. It's just a nice piece. It was during my candy cane, candy kit base, and I just I don't use it anymore. So you know what I would do? I would donate and this stuff and this to like, like beach, uh, beachy girl, Florida girl, whatever. And I'm actually from Florida. I live here, a so it's like I was trying to beach thing, rock, Roxy girl, Billabong. Here's another one from that era, and I love birds, and it's, it's just really cute. Like, I'm gonna hold on to this one for a little bit. Like a homeless shelter. I'm gonna hold on to this. It's just a basic sling or a crossbody, and it doesn't have much room, but I just love the little tropical print. Super cute. Anything with birds. Yeah, like a homeless shelter. The last thing I'm gonna do for this part two of the video because we still have a whole bin, a whole pile. I'm going to let the friendship is magic little person. It's just super blurry. If this doesn't hold enough, it would pass the phone test. But I think I didn't use this a lot because the strap was really short. Yeah, like that's, that's as long as it gets. So I don't know. It might be cute at club or if I'm going for a team. So I don't like when I don't have to take much stuff stuff with me, like this might be good. Let's see if it passes the phone test because I'm gonna change my mind. Yeah, it passes the phone test. I'm gonna keep it because it's my little pony. And I'm, I'm already getting rid of Pinkie Pie and Twilight Sparkle and giving them new homes. So I can keep one thing my little pony, that's my justification. Second to last in this video is this Crayola mini backpack. And I do believe it actually came with markers, but I just wanted it to be bad part. But again, the straps are super short, super, super, super short. And it's just meant to be like a little kid's art kit. So I figured I would eventually yeah. use this in my candy kit days, but I clearly did not. And the vinyl does not seem to be separating or discolored, so I might give it to my friend or her daughter as well. So it would be cute like to fill with art supplies to take to the park or whatever, or when the kid is traveling with you. I might just move my little milk crate platform thing. Last but not least, I'll keep this forever because it just has so many memories for me and you can't get the same more. It does need a good wash. My Salem messenger bag that I took all throughout middle school. And surprisingly enough, for being yeah. 30 something years old, it's in really good condition. Well, 20 yeah. years old. 
And this was OG when Deke first came out with Deb Sailor Moon at four o'clock in the afternoon and then later in Adult Swim. But you can see where it needs to be washed. Um, this was just like my tried and true, my die hard go to middle school backpack. And I showed so many books in this thing, they're probably like exceeding capacity. But you can even see, like, it's so old that the Sailor Moon logo has all but just disappeared. But yeah, this guy's with me as well. And we're gonna do like two more, because why not? We're here. I'm keeping this forever. This is my ICP bag, and it's just got that old school <laughs> clasp. That was easy. Um, I got this at Hot Topic, I believe, and I've not seen it ever since, and I just freaking love it. So this one is going to stay. <laughs> yeah. And then this last one is a dilemma because <laughs> funny story about this bag is I took it to one rave, and I love the pattern. I'm okay with like, ICP. Plastic vinyl. I know a lot of people noise. don't like ICP. <laughs> I'm okay with ICP. I used to listen to one ICP. But yeah, it still smells like it. I cannot get it. I can smell understand out of why some like, people don't like it. I love like this bag. I'm using my memory tour because it has a smell of nicotine or dirt or something. And I don't know if anybody knows down below. Let me know how to get rid of the smell out of like this vinyl plastic material. And then just got there. Also yellowing. Strap. It's just so old school. I love it. I might replace the strap down the road and then my old ET keychain. Since I've had since I was like 10 years old. But yeah, I can't get the smell out of this material. Please let me know what I can do. Get rid of it. That's why I never reach for it. It's really funky. Cyber can kid reaver. And the inside look like that. Like the lining is just so thin. It's a white and white in the first place. But yeah, I love this old 90s reaver 2000s. Reminds me of something like Alloy catalog would sell. Anyways, let me know how to get rid of the smell. I've tried Lysol. I've tried leaving it in like water, like hot water overnight or hot sleeping water and like nothing. I just kind of abandoned it. That's why I just sold it. Anyways, so that was part two. I feel like we did all right. Um, we got rid of more than the first video. So I feel like I'm being like, more disciplined and like saying, like, are you actually going to use that? Like the headwig backpack. I rarely do Universal. In fact, I haven't been Universal in like 10 years. So it's like, why am I holding on to a headwig backpack? Also, I'm not going to door. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the series. We are going to push through and push through and push through and do another one tomorrow and then like. I don't know, maybe five total. I just been holding dice. It's, it's scary. It's bad, but I'll start listing these on Poshmark, and you will see them there. Otherwise, uh, I hope your brain whatever makes you happy at some point in this channel. For the people that like it, it doesn't matter. It's their problem, not yours. As long as you look in the mirror and smile, you're off to a great start. And me and Pandora will see you next time. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Bye, 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 bye. That was fun. Okay. Okay. I said, try filling a nylon stocking with baking soda and put it in the bag to absorb the odor. Perhaps throw in four to five dryer sheets as well. I said, I love the ICP bag. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go put away stuff. I should be back on in a bit with the tar with tarot reads. i got to do four. i got to do Leo. i got to do Pisces, um, Scorpio, and Cancer. I'll be doing them in that order. So I will see you all in a bit. Bye.